I didn't, I didn't make it on the list. I didn't make the list for the open mic or kills only, but the night is young. We signed me up for a late night open mic at Bert's back room, and we're heading there now. Hey, how are you guys? Okay. <laughs> um, you ever get into an argument with a homeless person? No. I like to try my jokes out on them and for different people, you know. So I caught myself in an argument. I was like, hey man, can I tell you what my favorite love language is? You know, and he's like, I think you mean romance language. And I was like, no, I mean love language. He's like, no, romance. Like, love language is like deeper thing than that. And I was like, oh. And then I was like all enlightened. I was staring behind this point real hard at first. So I looked it up, <coughs> he was right, but, so, <coughs> did you know Romanian is a romance language? Did you? I didn't know fucking know. <laughs> I knew a cute Romanian chick one time though, but, um, so, I was like, I was like, whatever bro, can I tell you like my favorite romance language, you know? And, he, and so I was like, I like, it goes something like, <coughs> You know, it transcends like speech, you know. It's like sexual braille, you know. <laughs> love is blind, you know. Like love is love is love, you know. Well I love is blind, but it's like legally blind. Like, like, like you know, yeah, fire, you know, but like you can't let the motherfucker drive. <laughs> Or babysit it. Um, so I'm watching this show right now, actually, on Netflix. It's called Love is Blind. It's like, wait a minute. <laughs> Have any of you seen it? Yeah, it's good, right? I actually really do like it. But uh, it's Nick Lachey's, like new endeavor, I guess, with his new wife. And I'm like, man, fucking Jessica Simpson fucked this guy up. <laughs> I was like, he got this idea, like, he was like, man, if I could have, like, talked to her for, like, five minutes <laughs> and, like, not seen her, like, <laughs> or, or, or at the same time, and I think my life would be completely fucking different. This was his pitch, you know, and they were like, yeah, you know, and, um, so, Uh, oh, he would have noticed like sooner that he might have to teach this bitch how to read, you know? Sorry, guys, I forgot that. Anyway, have you guys ever known anyone who didn't know how to read? Or like you find out, like as you know them, like some <laughs> Parker doesn't know how to read? Well, when I was in like second grade, I taught this kid how to read. Or, you know, I helped him out a little bit. I think he knows some words, but, you know, he looked like Gucci Mane. Like he's a couple years older than us. And like, he wouldn't come to class all the time. He was like, so when he did come to class, we had to share books, you know? So he would sit next to me, cause we were like, like you know, I was a pretty bigger kid in the class. We, we matched size a little bit. So we'd be reading along in class and he'd be like, hey, what's that word? <laughs> and I'd be like, tarantula, you know? I'd be like, okay. A couple, you know, paragraphs. He's like, hey, what's, that? what's this word, bro? Like whole, you know. <laughs> we told you, we told you guys. Come on. So we're chilling. I'm like not thinking shit of it. Hey bro, hey, what's this one? Of. <laughs> now still, you could have been confused off of. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Give them the benefit of the doubt. You gotta give people the benefit of the doubt. We're all dumb. We're gullible. We fall for shit. One of the things I think we all fall for is workout videos and, you know, programs. Mm -hmm. I don't think they work. They're all a scam, you know? My wife has been working out for like 13 years. <laughs> like, straight. Like, she's somewhere right now, like, working out right now. <laughs> and, um, I mean, I guess they do work at first, you know? She, uh, she'll start working out a lot and she'll start looking real good, you know? And then, Slowly, she just like plateaus and starts gaining weight, you know. And by the time the kid comes, she gotta start all fucking over. <laughs> you know? 
And this has happened three times in our life, okay? Like, I feel bad for you women, you know? Shit. <laughs> so my oldest is 12, okay? And when he was four, he walked up to me and he said, Dad, Mom has such a big heart. And I said, aw, you know, what a sweet kid. So the next day we're at the park and he's like, hey dad, that lady over there, she's got a really big heart. And I was like, how the fuck does he know that? <laughs> right? But, oh, uh, you know, sorry, I have a little dry throat. So I don't know, a week or two goes by, we're in Target and he says, uh, he says, dad, hey, look at that lady's hearts over there. And I'm like, I look across this, I look at him, I look across the uh, target, and I'm like, I see this lady with the biggest pair of tits I've ever seen in my life. And I just look at him, and I'm like, ah, <laughs> that's my boy, you know? <laughs> Thank you guys, DJ. Taylor.